drag queen. Same queen, I'm a drag queen. You know them people who put on their silicone breast, add so much makeup and you know stuff their booty with shit just to make it plump. Well, just like all things, that that's it okay. You know, if you want to dress up as the opposite gender and start dancing and enter RuPaul's drag race and start doing weird shit like that, that that's cool, bro. You can do that. But have you seen the amount of children who are being exposed to this now? I mean, this is just absolutely bad. But just watch this clip and tell me what's going on. You, I, I, I have no words. Her entire behind is on viewing. It's on show. You know, you can you can get a good view of that and go, wow, I'm basically looking at pornography here. This kid is six years old and he doesn't know what planet he's on right now. He doesn't know what's going on in his underwear. He does not know what the hell he is being forced to watch. Me personally, right, I'm, you know... I'm such a progressive liberal. Nah, fuck that shit. I hate everyone equally, though, so it's fine. If you do this shit, that's fine. You do whatever you want to do in your own spare time. If you want to dance and do it, that's fine. Go and get paid on stage or go to a club and do it. Do not do it in front of kids and their family and their children while their parents sit there and film it. This was my kid. I'll grab you by them... I was going to say something. I probably should. I will grab you by your locks, swing you around like a whirlwind, send you into space, Looney Tune style, mate. It will be a horrific experience for you all your hair extensions would fall out your silicone breast would weigh you down as well so i won't be able to get very far it'd be terrible if you're a drag queen and you know it shall the problem i have with this is uh the overall general messages here so free palestine you're getting six-year-olds to say if you're a drag queen and you like it shout free palestine these kids don't even know which right free they're doing they don't know if it's the number of it's free within the f they don't know what the Palestine even is. When I was younger, I remember very clearly wanting to be certain people and looking up to certain things. Most of them were fiction, some of them were non-fiction, but most of them were fiction, all right? Spider-Man, Batman, cool people like this, video game characters that I loved. If someone said to me, do you want to be a drag queen? I'd be like, you know, and I was seven, I'd be like, yeah, sure. That sounds cool. What's a drag queen? You know, you don't know. So you're getting in these little kids' head that, yeah, being a drag queen is fun. And maybe it is for some people, but for others, it's not. Being a drag queen is going to cause these children lots of confusion and brain, you know, rewiring and go, well, why do I want to dress up as a woman? Well, this lady told me to, so I better dress up as a woman. You know, it doesn't make any sense. And then to force it onto our young children, being a kid is confusing as fuck as it gets. And then to add this sort of mystery, this nonsense into it, it's just crazy. Oh, this is, these poor kids have just been absolutely manipulated, mistreated and pretended that Shout free Palestine, we love Palestine Yeah, where is Palestine? Go on, point to it on a map Oh, what, you, you don't even know how to spell Palestine Exactly You know what I mean? Like, their opinions don't matter in a war like this And as I said before, drag queen is great entertainment for adults Not for young kids I mean, if I was this kid here, I'd be running away I'd be like, what is this monster? I feel like I'm playing Elden Ring and I've just reached the final boss Like, my staff wizard I'm just going to be shooting this guy from a distance and keeping not getting too close otherwise he'll eat me up for breakfast the problem with um not the problem with drag queens it's not a problem but it's just kind of funny all drag queens are kind of bitches if you haven't noticed they're all kind of rude and hate each other but like pretend to love each other and then as soon as the first opportunity is to stab them in the back with hercules sword is they can just do it they just get it out they just whip out a massive spear and <laughs> Finisher. I would have to say Bosco. She really, really wanted this role. And as she was trying to like, why she should like win this role, she was trying to put Lady Camden down. And it put a very bad taste in my mouth. And also, if we want to talk about track record, she was in the bottom three times in one episode. Damn, this girl or this boy, I'm not sure, they completely exposed this other they. <laughs> they just talked shit. It's like, well, if we, you know, this girl and this person, uh, basically, um, yeah, do, put a real sour taste in my mouth. But also, if you kind of think about it logically, they've been in the bottom three, three times, you know, so... Uh... I think get them gone. They're all just horrible to each other. They don't like each other. All they want is money and all they want is to be famous. That's what these people want. They want to cause as much problems, as much controversy and have a lot of conversations about, guess what, themselves. So they're happy to say whatever they want, dance in horrific ways, dress in even worse ways just to get what they want. And that's attention, views and clicks. And if it means dancing in front of kids, putting on Twitter and the internet and being roasted for, they just think that's good. All publicity is good publicity. They are literally growing like a slime ball, absorbing 
absorbing your fucking life soul and just <laughs> sucking that shit up just for their lols. They just love the controversy. And they're all twats. They hate each other. And I just... They're just, they're just dressed like futuristic cyberpunk weirdos to me. Uh, you know what I mean? I don't look at any of these people and go, you know what? I really actually appreciate this right now. This is a great bit of art. This is a great costume. This is a great bit of skill that you're demonstrating. No, this is just idiocracy. This is just how much controversy, how much of a scene can we create and how much of the pot can we stir without being arrested. That's all this is. And just in case you've not had enough, I have certainly had enough. We've got even more people. Look at everyone in the back laughing. Oh, yes. <laughs> Let's look while they dance to Nicki Minaj and shit, while the kids in the back are traumatized. I mean, look at this poor girl in the back here. While these people at the front are pretending, you know, they're in a strip club on GTA, wafting money at them. Nah, look at this poor little kid just trying to enjoy her, her pasta, her, her, her baby meal, whatever kids eat these days. And look, just giving her money, like, oh yeah, dropping, you know, doing that shit. Like, look at this kid. She's like, is this what I have to do? Is this what I have to become when I'm older? It's terrible. 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 If I was going for a meal, to be fair, they've advertised it. 11 a.m., kind of like kids hour. You know what I mean? Between 11 and 1 is sort of when families go out and eat, believe it or not. So what, what do they do? I know, let's have a drag queen do some really slutty dancing and drop a bum to the floor and keep shaking it up and down and give us a wiggle. You know, this isn't Nicki Minaj. This isn't Pornhub.com forward slash twerking. This is real life. This is a public area where human beings have come to enjoy their food and you've got bloody cat ears over here dressed like an absolute a six year old that's the worst part is they do their makeup like you know when a kid steals their mother's makeup and they come in and they've got all these massive blue eyes and massive drawings on their face and multicolored lips that's what they look like it doesn't even look good no one's going oh what a fantastic job she's done. She's dressed so nicely, I can understand. Or he's dressed so nice. I don't know what genders these guys are. Look at them just moving around, dancing, dress, showing their front privates like that. Like, God, God. And I'm getting, you know, I, I get, there's a place for this. It's it's entertainment, maybe. But there's kids around, bro. You're doing slut drops in front of kids. You know, this is not what they should be viewing or doing. Like, this is one of the problems with social media is they learn and they watch and they see this stuff. They go, well, I want to do that. I can't take my two little nieces are young. And they can't stop doing TikTok dance. And it's terrible. It's bloody terrible. I'm like, don't do that. I can't watch them. It's inappropriate. You're seven. Look, maybe I'm just an old fart, an old geezer who should just retire and, you know, buy a cabin in the woods and just live there and have his own farm and not have access to the internet. You're probably right. I probably don't deserve it. I'm just trying to be the good guy here. Look out for the kids. Protect the kids. Look out for them. Make sure that they're not exposed to ugly people with terrible makeup shaking their behinds. Now, this is the most shocking thing. We're going to end on a, an even lower low. I know. How low can you go, baby? Well, I'll take you even lower. 14-year-old child performing drag at gay clubs and bars across Canada, Vancouver. The girl who was transitioned to a boy by her mother, so by her mother, sometimes goes topless and collects tips from adult audiences. So, basically, Jeffrey Epstein's best friends had a kid, turned them trans, and prostitutes them out places in Vancouver for extra cash. I'm not going to touch too much on this because it's fucking disgusting. Like, the, you know, the other ones are like, you've chosen to sit there, take your kid out. This is rank. At absolutely foul adults paying these underage women so they're disabled and autistic so you know she's autistic okay it's a boy sorry he's autistic apologies i'm gonna get cancelled so he's autistic he goes around gay clubs dancing and pretending to be a stripper at the age of 14 while adults pay so they were born a female but as identifies as a boy you stage nova tropica that is the most hoish name ever nova tropica performed in at least three lgbt bars and all of which are adult venues and serve alcohol most could you know it basically Basically, danced, uh, dancing in front of adults as an underage kid and getting paid. Had tape covering the front of her breast, so she's a man with boobs. Just let that sink in. She's a man with boobs dancing in gay clubs for gay men, but she's a, a man with boobs dancing in front of gay men. She shared a video of her dancing on stage in a bar to the song Bubblegum Biatch, collecting dollar bills from the audience members in another video. God. Jesus. She's seen dancing in adult crowds wearing only a cut-out bathing suit, an outfit she has also posted in her photos. So they call her she, but I'm going to call her he out of respect for him uh, because, you know, I, I truly hope that she, he, fuck, is happy in the new skin that he's in, but the fact that, you know, she, he has a few disabilities and a few uh, problems, you know, autism, uh, and apparently disabled in whatever sense, who knows, and the fact that they are disabled, their mum allowed them to get a change at the age of 14 or 13 or 12 is a crime it's a criminal offense 
and you should be put in prison, in my opinion. And why? Why can't they do what they want? Well, I'll bloody tell you, mate. When you were 14, if I had the option to change my hands to stick on a wall and shoot webs out my fingers, I bloody would, all right? I would be Spider-Man. Why is it any difference that they are watching these videos and get falling in love with these entertainers or these people and that they want to be them when they shouldn't really be transitioning and taking these drugs until they're 18? You can't take steroids. You can't take drugs like that until you're old enough. <laughs> Gaze against groomers. She was exposed, or he was exposed for gay against grooms because this 14 year old was on stage looking like that it's terrible her family needs to answer some serious questions like what the fuck were they doing while she was doing this oh, nova said she loves how testosterone is starting to affect her muscles so basically because she's becoming a man she's starting to grow muscles and triceps and man features and she loves the fact that she's getting these things and that's fair enough if you're happy you're happy but a part of me tells me she's not happy you know these parents changed her transitioned her didn't stop her you know you you have to be 18 to do this in the uk you can't just, you know, if you were going to the gym and you injected testosterone, they'd advise against you at a young age. You have to be over a certain age. So why is it any different when it comes to gender? It's terrible. This is me off. Look, not all drag queens are bad. I appreciate that. But just the fact that what everything I see these days is just poor kids, young adults being forced into witnessing and seeing this. And if you don't like it, you're a bigot. You're a horrible piece of racist scumbag. And no, no, you are an idiot if you think that. And what we should be doing is protecting these people. So things like this 40 year old trans kid performing for tips at a gay bar doesn't happen again it shouldn't happen and it's shocking that it does happen anyway yeah terrible how can you a person like the club should be shut down how can you let a person perform in a gay bar like that like ugh, it's everything about this just stinks and i hate it you know drag queens for palestine stink people like this dancing in front of kids doing sexual illicit activities trying to convince them that this is the way forward stinks if you support this then please go fuck off you know i'm i'm all for having a good time and they should be at clubs and they should be able to do this to adults not kids because kids can't choose what they watch it's up to the parents and the parents clearly can't do a good enough job. Anyway, lads, ladies, everything in between, days, thems. I love you all. You're a great bunch of lads and ladies and days, thems. And I love all of you. Doesn't matter what's between your legs. As long as you're not dancing and doing erotic things to kids like this, I love you. If you do shit like this, you know where the bin is.